the story. Michael. Well, that's right, Harold. He's an immigrant from Honduras who never went to school, college, or medical school. Yet the man known as Dr. Savi claims to have found the cure for several life-threatening diseases, including AIDS. Too good to be true? Well, you be the judge. The lump in Myrtle Rick's left breast is gone. I haven't had any symptoms or problems or anything. Sabrina Peterson's son no longer disabled by sickle cell anemia. He has a lot of energy. I have to make him rest. Disease is cured by this man. His name is Dr. Sabi, but he won't find a medical degree hanging from his wall. Instead, a certificate of healing. We have complex things with science, but if we go back to God and use the herbs as God said, then you can see how simple it is. Then you Dr. Sabi believes what ails you can be cured with natural alkaline herbs and a vegetarian diet solely made up of what he calls electric foods mushrooms, greens, and rye breads without starch. Hippocrates established the principle of medical science by using herbs to cure diseases, then why the physician using the chemicals? Forty years ago, a doctor in Mexico cured CB of diabetes, asthma, and obesity with the very same herbs and diet he dispenses to all of his patients, whether they're suffering from lack of energy or full-blown AIDS. That package is an intra- cellular chelation. I'm removing plaque from the system. I'm removing inflammation. That is the base for all disease. And according to a medical affidavit provided by Dr. Sebi, it's working. It shows a patient diagnosed with HIV in November of 1993 was cured two months later. Thousands of patients worldwide swear by his methods and natural herbal medicines. In the tiny village, Lisa sought guidance for body and soul from an herbal guru named Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi, you know, according to him, can cure anything. Everything from trying to lose weight to, you know, looking for a cure for AIDS. People go there with hopes and dreams that Dr. Sabi can somehow save them. She had been through so many uh, intense problems in her career and in her life and in her personal life that she didn't know where to turn. And this doctor, she said, had shown her how to really open up and, and cleanse all of the negativity out of her. She told me she was suffering with alcoholism and that she was smoking excessively, cigarettes, drinking and smoking. She asked me, what do I need to do to stay on the side of peace? I said, fast, do what Jesus did. She said, what did Jesus do? He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Midway through her 40-day ordeal, an obviously gaunt Lisa spoke with MTV News. I've been polluting my body for 30 years. 40 days is not a long time to me to fast. 40 days represents overcoming death. It's, it's the number of days that Jesus fasted for, and I kind of feel like I'm on a journey sometimes don't really know quite where I'm headed. At the ending of the fasting, she came to me. I heard the door opening at two o'clock in the morning. She said, I completed my fast this morning. I said, what did you see? I saw God. She said, I'm going to make you famous. I said, how? Because I'm going to talk about you. Does everyone know you cure AIDS and cancer? There's just a lot of people in the world who are suffering. They're sick. They're not happy. They're looking for answers. They don't know where to turn. Well, I know a man who's been curing AIDS since 1987. This guy has taught me a lot, and I need to share my knowledge, you know, with the world. 